Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? Welcome back to... Let me do that again. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CD Rhyme 1019. Welcome back to the... Uh, what game am I playing? <laughs> What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CD Rhyme 1019. Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, Launch of the Screaming Narwhal. Alright, so, uh, we've escaped Duke the Singe, we got the map open out of the Unbreakable Bottle, but it's, uh... It's, uh, blank. I wonder who can help me with this worthless map. So, not really sure what to do here. There might be a few people we can, uh, talk to about this, but let's look around here. Hey there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. And you are? It's Hemlock. Hemlock, Mickey. Uh, you! Hmm? Couldn't leave old Hemlock alone with his grog and his tattered dreams, could you? Hmm. So, I'm pretty sure Mojo said that the map was made by someone named Hemlock McGee. Did the wind shipwreck you on Flotsam Island, too? I... I've been training a Sasoki Zany Zephyr since I... <laughs> ...washed up here. I even found an ancient scroll that promised to lead me to all the answers. No. I... but I couldn't figure it out. I got so frustrated that I kicked one of those statues out in the jungle and stubbed me toe. When I went to that butcher de Sage, he cut me leg off! Ooh, harsh. Without two good legs, I couldn't explore anymore. So I limped into Club 41 and started up a long-term relationship with the keg of grog. Hmm. Can I see your ancient scroll? Rain not, Skippy. Some stupid witch stole it from me in a poker game a few months ago. Oh. Do I be good without my eye of the manatee, though? Keen. Can I borrow it? Now, why in the name of Neptune's headmails would I let you borrow this priceless artifact of a long dead civilization? That eye of the manatee sounds exactly sounds like exactly what we need. Um I was thinking I could carry on your work. To make amends for the whole getting your leg hacked off thing. Uh, fine. Can't use it anymore, anyhow. Thanks, Hemlock. I promise you probably won't regret this. Well, that was easy. Let's uh, go over here so we don't give him any ideas and start looking this map over. All oh, right. Um. This looks promising. Hmm. Okay. So, looks like we got to go back to that jungle. Um, and we got to start at that altar that we found. And then we need to use the sound clues again. So, we're going to be seeing this a bunch. All right. Let's go back to the jungle. We've got a path to find. All right, we need to start by finding that, uh, that tablet. Was it over this way? Uh, it's a clamshell lock, but not quite what we're looking for. Ah, here it is. Okay, so, let's use the map with this. Okay. All right, so, take a look. Bees, monkeys, wind. And I think I'm actually missing something. Let's see. So far, so good. Oh, that's the exit. Wait. Okay. This looks promising. So here's the... Oh, I do have flowers. Okay. That's good. Are those drawings supposed to represent the wind? Wind, bees, wind. Nope. 
Nope. Nope. Wind. Oh, monkey spit. Oh, went the wrong way. Okay. So far, so good. All right, here we go. We're gonna try this again. Mm, this looks promising. Bees, monkey, wind. All right. Okay. Flowers with the altar or the wall of the well. And then it was wind bees wind. Okay. Wait. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. The wind's going this way. What? Oh, dang. All right. That's really that's confusing, but... Oops. <laughs> All right. Come on. Start this over. Now I'm just getting ahead of myself. So far, so good. This looks promising. So far, so good. Uh, flower. I wish I were the mightiest pirate. Oh, I did this already. No! Yikes. So this is where I'm I'm getting a little confused because I need to follow the wind. Drawings supposed to represent the wind. But I don't know which way the wind is going here. Oh wait, I got an idea. That could pollute the flotsam water supply. And not in a good and or funny way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just... <sighs> hmm. Okay. Wind's pointing this way. There we go. Okay, and from the wind... This looks promising. Bees, wind, and then to, to the dial... I mean, there's only one way I can go here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Bees is back the way I came. Yep, okay. And then... The wind again. Interesting. Cool, here's the dial. So I have to turn this... According to this, it's Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. Yeah, I know that. I just need to... Um, I need to turn this 180 degrees, right? Yeah, so I have to turn this. Question is how? Wait. What was the... Oh, I, that's right. I can do that, but... Um, According to this, it's Sunday, Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. Manatee. Um... that a YouTube would be useful there. I have to turn this, but I don't know how. Unless I have to walk... Oh. Oh, okay, wait a minute. There we go. Just had to walk a, walk a circle on it. Okay. So which way is the wind going? And then I get to the gate. Oh. I see.
There's the gate. Whoa. Uh-oh. Someone's coming. I never thought I'd have to come out here again. To singe? But it'll be worth a temporary fluctuation in Flotsam's wind to get my hands on Sweetwood's uh, hand. <laughs> hands on his hand. Out for that all about and what's behind that door well it looks like he's got something I need that oyster shell looks so empty without a pearl doubt I'm gonna get in here maybe I can move the door by pushing on this giant crystal nose <sighs> nope hmm wow I bet this thing would be really impressive if I knew what the heck all these inscriptions meant Okay. Looks like I'm not going to get anywhere right now. Let's uh let's leave. Where am I anyway? Buried treasure. Creepy shack. I'm at the giant doorway. Okay. Let's go talk to Mojo. She might know what this is. Um Why didn't you tell me that Grog could be used to stave off the effects of the pox? Grog? Grog won't cure the pox of Lechuk. It will only make it worse. How can Grog make anything worse? Your hand may seem fine now, but when it wakes up, it'll be even nastier than ever. You've just got a thing against Grog. Well, okay. Um Do you know anything about the Marquis de Singe? I do not trust that man, nor do I understand him. He tried to cut off my hand. This does not surprise me. Scientists such as Desange will shatter the soul of the world to answer a few petty riddles. The fates alone know what he's done to this poor island. <laughs> Looks like he's manipulating the wind. I found evidence that Desange has been manipulating the winds of Flotsam Island. Then you must work to restore them. Ill winds such as these are not natural and must be returned to the proper balance. That's what Elaine always says on Taco Night. <laughs> Dumb Tish. Um, I mean, I already knew that, but. All right, you're not going to be of any Don't help. I'll find my own way out. Be well, Treepwood. I guess I'm just going to have to confront the singe. Okay, well, let's go back to... And there's still places I haven't explored yet, it looks like. But let's go back to the dock. Mm hmm. Looks like he's interested in observing something. You're on to the advancement of science. I have nothing to say to you. Or now. Well, why are you so interested in my hand? Why are you so interested in my hand anyway? Because the disease that courses through it appears to be an entirely new life form, capable of animating and taking over dead tissues. No kidding. That's so. Wait, did you say dead tissues? My hand's not dead. My hand's not dead. It moves. Sometimes all by itself. And that's what makes it so fascinating. A seemingly necrotic and persistently animating as though compelled by an outside force. Just imagine the possibilities. Uh, really weird puppet shows? Uh, you know there are other pox pirates out there. You know, there's other sick pirates infected with the same disease as my hand. Why don't you cut off their limbs? Oh, I have. But your case is special somehow. I must have that hand. Mm, how about no? We'll just to see about that. <laughs> hmm. What are you doing? What are you doing out here? Don't you have some mildly injured pirates to mangle? 
I'm investigating these wondrously icky green clouds that have settled over Flotsam Island. Uh, you sure you don't know anything about the winds? Are you sure you don't know anything about Flotsam's winds? What are you insinuating? It occurs to me that the weird winds around here have been pretty good to you, giving you a steady supply of patience and all. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You're behind the winds, aren't you? Come on, confess. You're the guy behind all these freaky winds, aren't you? What an outrageous accusation! Do you have any proof? Um... <laughs> I thought not. Good day, sir. I stayed good day. <clears throat> Well, I'm gonna have to come back with proof. I just don't know how to get that to him. Um. Hmm. Talking to him's not gonna get me anywhere. Uh, and. I don't think you know anything. Somebody's gotta have a lead around here somewhere. Maybe Hemlock knows. statue that looks like someone playing a musical salamander. That must be what those danged merfolks use to control the winds. Uh, you meant... Uh. Why aren't you in Club 41, curled up with your grog? Because the two diamond cannon cloggers kicked me out. Why? The club has a strict no feet, no service clause. Talk about adding insult to injury. Hmm. Uh, merfolk? You mentioned merfolk? Merfolk. Before the Sarge cut off my leg, I discovered that Flotsam Island was colonized by a <coughs> hidden race of merfolk called the Vakalians, who'd grown tired of living under the sea and wanted to try living on land for a while. And? It didn't take. After a few hundred years, they went back to the oceans. Bunch of liberty gibbets, if you ask me. Hmm. Tell me more. Anything else you can tell me about those indecisive merfolk? The Vakalians? Well, they had a thousand different words for wind, but none for man or woman. Exotic. Hmm. Okay, well, bye, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. Can we not get in here? It's locked. Yep, okay. Hmm. Well, I know that I need that uh, staff that DeSinge had. Question is how I'm going to get it. I still don't know what I need this glass tube for. Dr. DeSinge? Oh. That's the Marquis de Singe to you, ruffian. Um... I don't have anything I can use against him, do I? <clears throat> hmm. Alright. I think we need a hint. Let's see. Um... You know, let's go back and look, um, let's go back to the, uh, can I go to overworld map? No, I can't. Different controls. Alright. Let's head back to that giant door. Gives me an idea. Uh huh. Looks like I cut off the door's nose to spite its face. Okay, well, now what? What if I can see anything on the other side? 
there's something interesting in there, but I can't tell what it is. Sometimes it's all I can do to save a little face. Why? Can I put it back? Nah. Alright, well, can I combine this with anything? Oh, I know. I can combine the face with the nose because I broke its nose off. What? Heresy. I don't think a flower sconce would enhance the feng shui right here. Uh, well, okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think that a YouTube would be useful there. Wow. I bet this thing would be really impressive if I knew what the heck all these He says he can are. see something inside it, but... I wonder if I can see anything on the other side. There's something interesting in there, but I can't tell what it is. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, you know what? Our little pirate parrot friend can go in on our behalf. Weird idea. Ah, it's me, Skyboar Streetboy, Mighty Pirate. I've got a mission for you, little parrot. Go to the other side of this door and open it from the other side. <laughs> okay, little champion, open the door. Stupid bird. Mm -mm -mm. And yet there's still something downright charming about it. Yeah, I don't think the game's sound is going through right, but that's kind of neat. Um, okay, well. Guess we'll just have to leave for now. Well, now that I've kind of played with a door, maybe I can trick him into thinking I have proof? Alphabet sale! Dr. DeSinge? That's the Marquis de Singe to you, ruffian. Does this look familiar? Where do you find that? It, uh, fell off that creepy ancient door in the jungle. An ancient door with a manatee head in the jungle? <laughs> I have no idea... Never said it was a manatee. About. Sure, sure, but you might want to check it out someday. It looks like it could be pretty interesting, scientifically speaking. I'm heading back there now to break through the door with my piratey wiles. First, I'll need some dynamite. Uh, then a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle, and then some sort of rudimentary lathe. <laughs> He'll never open that door without my key. Still, I'd better follow him from a safe distance, just to make sure he doesn't upset my long-term plans. Uh-oh. Ah, so it appears that Monsieur Sripoud has found the Vicarian Port du Vent. Naughty little parrot boy. Is anybody in there? Oh, it's me, Garbo Sripoud. Why the pirate? What? How do you... I can't believe he fell for that. This looks like it might be useful. Yoink. Who's the cleverest pirate in the whole wide world? Ah, it's me, Guy Wars Streetboy, Whitey Pirate. Holy ships! Streetwood! Well played, Monsieur Streetwood. You have forced me to reveal the location of the hidden temple. But. Without my help, a simpleton like you will never be able to figure out which of the so-called wind gods must be summoned to master this ancient wind control device. And I will reveal nothing! That's a wind control device? Thanks for telling me. You didn't know? Oh. <laughs> I can see it's time for this Marquis to take matters into his own hands. Hmm. Well, I suppose I should start by monkeying around with this and see what it does.
Well, interesting. The winds are still blowing in. Looks like I've got some ancient wind gods to summon. I wonder if that idol can be used to summon wind gods. Hmm. There's four of these idols. One of them looks broken. Guess I didn't do whatever I was supposed to do. Okay. I see. Oh. Wonder if the wind gods on the idols are related to the ones on the weather vane. Ah. That's a clue. Back back off, Guybrush. Oops, no, no. Can I? Oh, here we go. Um. Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that way. That, uh, shoot, I just wanted to look at the thing. Um. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. So. Interesting. Ah. Weird. Well, that might have been the right mouth. Yep. Okay. That oyster shell looks so empty without a pearl. Yes, I I know that. Thank you. Off your hat. Sweet food. Cease your emphysted fumblings and surrender that hand. How about no? Make me. Hmm, <laughs> a force gun, huh? You fool, you're not going to beat me that way. Alright, let's go look for the next one. Um, ooh, there's another idol over here. Okay. Hmm. Actually, this... Put this up here. All right, looking at the time, this might actually be a good place to stop, so we have an objective for the next episode. So, let's stop here. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Make sure you uh, check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more uh, YTR and GSL fun. And be sure to check me out at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel, streaming whenever I can. I'll see you for the next episode. Until then, take care. Bye-bye!